Hey Jelly Bellies, it's me Trish, and um, I know I'm starting it once again at 5.30 at night, but today I had neck shots, and it physically hurt to even like hold my camera up. It just, it's feeling a little bit better now, but you know, I've been resting basically all day since I got them. So I did go to Dollar Tree. Chris did a lot of the pushing around the bags and stuff like that because he wanted to go for one thing and I was like, oh, snacks. and he, But he helped a lot, so that's why I was able. But it's as you can see, it's rather small. So what I picked up is two bottles of the Arizona iced tea. I'm not even going to try picking them up because I don't want to hurt myself. I got a bag of the nacho cheese tortilla chips for Connor. I got four bags of the pretzel crisps because I like those. I got some pretzel sticks for Connor. He likes these craisins, so I bought him two more bags. That's, that's the fourth bag of those. Um, I bought some more of the butter popcorn. And that was the original reason why I was going. But I ended up getting some more snackies and stuff like that. So, And then the Ultra Dish Wash and Fresh Apple for the house. And that is it. I know, super short. But like I said, I was in pain. It's sore the first couple days, and then it gets better, and then you feel better. Last time I got it, it lasted for about six months before I started being in pain again and then on top of it I find out that my doctor my pain doctor who I love nicest guy in the world is moving to Florida and I'm like I do not want to go back to the other pain doctor that's there because she is children if you're watching have your ears she's a bitch she's not nice so now I have to go hunting for a new pain doctor and hopefully this will carry me for a while and then my prescriptions will carry me for like a month or so but I am now on the search for a pain doctor. And then I got to go see said new pain doctor after I have my teeth pulled. So this is going to be fun. But, uh, yeah, I'll see what else I can wrestle up and show you guys today. I'm trying to think of content and my brain is like, blah. Because, honestly, after I got it done, it was just like, ooh, pretty. They're like, why don't you lay down? I'm like, okay. Because I did it a different way today. The, the last time they just put like the spray lidocaine on and then they stuck it in and it was fine. And then today they did it like they did the back shot where they put the paint, like a, they put like a numbing, they put like lidocaine on you, they spray it on, and then they'll put a numbing shot in you and then they'll put the shot that's supposed to help with your pain after that. Oh, whew. What was that? One minute and my arm's already sore. I had to go to the other hand. Um, so yeah, fun times today. But, uh, if I think of anything else to show you, I will be right back. If not, then I'll end the vlog and you'll complain, oh, this is so short. I'm like, trying. God dang it. <laughs> All right, see you in three, two. So I'm back and wow, oh, that's my hand in the way. Sorry, I was sucking on a butterscotch and <clears throat> I'm trying to hold it with my other hand. Anywho, I had a question for you guys. Just so you know, this is the stuff in front of you. Those are my... That's my friend Erica and our kids and her husband's gifts right there. And these are the teacher gifts, the cards for like his van driver and stuff. And the cards for his friends from school, the teachers and a van driver gift. So I had a question because I was actually going to bring this. Oh, and these are my future sister-in-law's family and the rest are buckets that we have to go through and organize. Yay. Um, for Christmas. Does Santa bring all the gifts? If you have kids, do does Santa only bring stuff for people that live in your house and then you buy other gifts? Or like how how does it work at your house? Does Santa only bring one big gift and mommy and daddy give them gifts? I've this comment was made on my Facebook and I was like, that would be really awesome to talk about. What is your tradition? Well mine is like I'm showing you now, like for the van driver. And the kids from school and teachers and my friends and my future and sister Lars family. They'll probably get that on Christmas, but I can give them to them early because that these these presents are the ones that can go downstairs. Also, like my aunt, my grandmother and my cousins whose house we go to, those are ones that I'll put out. But Santa brings all the gifts for Connor and my house except for a couple of things. A couple of things for mommy. And sometimes, with Daddy, sometimes it's Daddy who brings the gifts or Santa who brings the gifts. It kind of goes back and forth. But that's our tradition. So I'm curious. Post below, what do you guys do in your family as your tradition? Also, another tradition we have is we go to my aunt's house on 
Christmas leave. She lives in Rhode Island, not too far from where we are in Massachusetts. So it's like a what 25 minute, half hour drive. We go there. We spend time with them. My, my aunt makes lasagna and calzones and um, these chicken wings that are really good. I got to get the recipe, see if she'll share it with me. I think my mom has it. Because she's tried making them. So I'll, I'll ask my mom about that recipe if you guys are interested. Post below for that. And then she has like a veggie platter and shrimp. But her health hasn't been all that great. So she's not doing as much. But still she's going to cook. And her daughter's going to be there. You know. And that's what we do on Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Day. You know. We all come here. Connor's dad actually comes over. And we kind of go through everything. So um, that is it for this i'll either close down the vlog in a little bit or if i come up with something to show you guys i'll be right back it's a mystery who knows three two one. so i almost forgot to end this vlog and yes those are my rolls of um wrapping paper at the foot of my bed and i put up some of these um pictures from Dollar Tree. I'll give you a better look at them tomorrow. But these are from like last year. I'm holding on to them until I either moved out or moved up here. But I'm just, uh, what I do is I put um, the Hallmark Channel on mute and that's how I go to bed. And sometimes if I really can't sleep, I have this app, which I can't think of the name of it. Sleepy Sounds. It's Sleepy Sounds. It's an app and it has, you can either get nature sounds, you can get lullabies, you can get four different things. Nature, lullabies, rain is the third one, and then you can have like your own music. And it's kind of funny, but I actually use the lullaby stuff because for some reason, lullaby music knocks me out. <laughs> it's weird. Or if you like pat my head out cold. So, uh. I just want to close the vlog. Um, thank you as always for watching and always remember to what? To jingle until you tingle. I was getting a little loud. I think I almost woke up Carter. <laughs> but uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.